Today we went to Low Family Wine Co and had lunch and an amazing thing, wine tasting experience. Thing. We had an amazing wine tasting guide called Brian and give Phil an education in Zin Great. Let's watch it. Twice won the medal for the world's best Zin here. So what's a Zin? I've never heard of it. It's a grape variety. Um, it's the most commonly grown grape in, or second most commonly grown grape in California. Okay. Big deal to the American market. So Californian. Um, they will tell anybody who will listen it's a Californian grape. That is a big, fat lie. <laughs> I look straight in the camera when I say it. Fake news, you heard it here first. <laughs> Um, it's actually Croatian in origin. Oh, wow. Okay, so we know this from DNA testing. And actually, um, virtually every Zin plant in the world um, came genetically descended from some little old lady's backyard God in bless Croatia. Her. There you go. So the Italians are the second biggest grower of this grape. They call it Primitivo. So if you've ever had Primitivo, you've also had Zin. Okay. okay? Now, the Italians are doing something a bit different, a little bit moodier, earthier, heavier in terms of what they do, but it's unmistakably the same grape. Smell them, you'll know straight away. The bouquet is really quite distinctive. It's one of the most complex grapes you'll ever smell. There's a lot going on there. Fruit, to earthy aromas, to spice, it's all there. Now, when you taste this, I'd like you to take a, a bit of time um, and be really conscious of what's going on in your mouth. So, do a three-step tasting. Each time, take enough wine into your mouth, to squish it around and coat the whole inside of your mouth. All right? And then swallow it. Most importantly, I want you to count to 10 after that. Do it again. And then once more, 10 seconds later. It's really not till the third sip you're gonna understand what Zim is all about. It's really quite fascinating how this happens. First mouthful of Zin, I must warn you, it's like a bomb going off in the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> or acid and tannin and 50 different grapes screaming for attention. You won't know what in heaven's name is going on. Okay, let's go. So try Phil. that first. Okay. Let's watch him doing it. And that is very definitely not what the wine tastes like. That's a lot going on very busy. Mm. Okay, now we're going to let that fade for a bit. This is the really important part. Okay, that's about five seconds now. Another five, we're going to go again. Watch the reaction. And this next sip is going to hint at where this wine is about to go. Okay, it's going to move straight to your middle palate. Whereas the first sip was all front. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and you'll kind of get a very different experience. So you have a go now. That's so different from the first. Mm. Boom. Mm. So there we go. Mm. A bit more mellow perhaps? Mm, yeah, much more. The Hinting. first one was just too much. It was overwhelming. It's yeah. just, yeah, too much happened in the mouth. Okay, now pay attention. What we've quietly done while all this is happening, that's probably not obvious to you yet, is that you've just layered two doses on your back palate. Yeah. Okay, it's not yet saturated enough for you to notice what's going on. Third sip is jack Ready? Now go again. Oh, there we go. Starts here, finishes mm. down here. Yep. That's what Zin's about. Definitely got the front and moved back. Welcome to Zin Pendel done properly. Mm. Mm. Very interesting, I've never done that before. So now it's easy drinking all the way? Kind of, it's still very big flavor. Mm. The challenge, it is big. Whenever I serve this in the restaurant, my challenge is finding a dish big enough in flavor to match it. Yeah, I can so imagine. Yeah. It overwhelms a lot of food. Mm. Mm. Um, but we tend to do it with really big flavored cheeses or mm. very powerful sauces and spicy yeah. dishes, that kind of thing. It does work in those situations. Mm. All right, every sip you have from now on is just going to take you back to that third sip position. Lost all of that up front. Yep. Zing. <laughs> yep. If you liked what you saw, why not hit the like and subscribe button? We've got heaps more coming from Mudgee where we've done a four night getaway and explored heaps. This is just a sneak peek.
until next time travel brilliantly bye if you liked what you saw why not check us out on social or the videos suggested above